right now. From the A-list to the runway, YouTube and celebrity chefs, your favorite stars reveal their unforgettable holiday memories and big surprises, too. We have a little surprise we want to show you. Yes, it's oh so cool. God. Christmas came early for and you. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. You, you, you Plus, hot holiday homes. You look like you've gone all out for Christmas. Every house has its own unique secret sauce. The award-winning mastermind who transforms houses into festive masterpieces. Also, you know his restaurants. I haven't tasted any failures. Now, Sam Fox. Welcome to the Gold Ambassador. Is adding a ritzy new resort to his portfolio. Join us for the journey that will leave you feeling informed and inspired. Welcome to this Arizona's Family Original with me, Yetta Gibson. Hello, everybody. Happy holidays. For this show, I've invited Ian and Vanessa to join me as we celebrate the special time of year for so many of us. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank I'm so you. happy you're here. Yes, yeah. finally. Well, the funny part is we have not met yet. Oh. I've seen him on TV. <laughs> we <laughs> emailed before. Yeah. And he wore his special Elvis jacket. Oh, yes. my yes. God. Yes. Like a date or something. It's the longest blind date I've ever had oh. or, or chatting. And then someone yeah. finally And you're real me. and not a bot. <laughs> Been there, done that. So. Well, I hope this works out by the end of the show. <laughs> we will see. Okay, so from the A-list to the runway, some of your favorite stars are sharing what makes the holidays special to them. Hi, Yetta. It's everyone here from the Drew Barrymore Show. We're all hanging out together and wishing you and everyone who's watching your show a very, very good day. Happy holidays. Happiness, health, and humor from everyone here. Bye, guys. Hey, Yetta. Happy holidays. My favorite Christmas memory was in Kansas City when I was a kid and I got to experience my first ever white Christmas. One of my favorite memories I wanted to share from a holiday was a few years ago, my cousins and I, after a long day at grandma's house, eating and drinking and dining, um, we decided to go to Disneyland, which was super fun because it's just not the way that you typically end your Christmas. Um, so it was really fun because we all, all got to hang out go on rides, eat candy, just be kids, which was honestly super fun and kind of refreshing after like feeling so stuffy on the holidays. Um, so yeah, that was really fun. I always think about it when I think of the holidays. Hey there, Yetta. Listen, I love talking about Christmas traditions because my family, we have a lot of them. Yes, you do. But two things that we do every single Christmas is we get up Christmas morning, we go and we feed the homeless mm -hmm. at our church. We've been doing it for so many years and it is one of the best times that I have as a family. Uh, then after that, we head to the movies. What y'all gonna see? We're going to see The Color Purple this year. Get ready to cry, y'all. Yes, indeed, on Christmas, right? <laughs> on Christmas. You know, our favorite Christmas tradition is we work with an organization called School on Wheels. Yeah. They take care of homeless kids and my boys make backpacks for all the kids and they've been doing it since they've been five so it's a lot of fun for them yet you, you know thanks for sharing and wishing you and everybody else an amazing 2024 those Frazier boys are good boys bye one of my favorite Christmases was the year that Joe and I were helping Santa out and we picked up a bike for Fallon who was around seven years old at the time it was white with pink tires and silver lightning bolts on Christmas morning Fallon ran in and she said I hope that Santa heard my prayer. I wanted a white bike with silver lightning bolts and pink tires, but how could she know that? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. Merry Christmas. For me, Christmas was all about the lead up as a kid. It was the specials, the Rankin Bass specials, um, Santa Claus is coming to town with Burgermeister, Meister Burger, a yo-yo, Bagermeister. Uh, the Year Without a Santa Claus, Frosty the Snowman, Yogi's First Christmas. And then it became about my kids, the, their, their first Christmases with those big wide eyes and all the presents. And now it's, uh, as you can see, my wife's holiday. Uh, I built that snow village just for her. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody there and everywhere. We're John Jay and Rich, and we wanted to share with you our favorite holiday moment. You go first. I think we did this Christmas wish where somebody was in a trailer, and we sent them to a hotel for a night. And while they were at the hotel, we redid the whole place. New cabinets, new carpet, new beds, new furniture. They came back in. It was all different. Life changed. Love those moments. I was going to say Christmas wish, too. We do it every year. We grant wishes to kids throughout the valley and try to make the Christmas a little bit brighter. That is our 
favorite holiday moment. Also, when your wife makes those chocolate chip cookies for Christmas. Astounding. Same. All of us here at the NFL Today and CBS Sports want to wish you and your family a very happy holiday. Happy New Year from all of us here at CBS Sports. Let's make 2024 better than the year before. Boom! Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. I love it. That was so, so cool. nice. Of course, you can catch Nate on CBS Mornings every weekday, along with Tony DeCopel and, of course, Gail King, my mm. favorite. Well, that's my girl. Wait, there's more. Oh. It's like an infomercial. And these are like, it's like Christmas. We're opening these surprises yeah. for you on your show. So we have a little surprise we want to show you. Okay. Yetta, Charles here. Yetta, Gail's here. And we're on the set of, where are we, Charles? King Charles. Yes, on the set. Hey, Yetta, you know how much love and respect I have for you? Girl, Ditto. I'm, yeah, and I'm so proud of you. Ditto. We just want to wish you good luck with the new show. And happy holidays. Happy holidays. I love you, girl. I'll see you soon. See you in 2024. Cheering you on, Yetta. Yes. Cheering you on. Oh, oh, awesome. Yes, it's oh, so cool. Oh, Christmas gosh. came early for and you. you. Know, it's funny. I ran into Charles at the game, and I go, Charles, I'm doing a new show, and you got to be on it. And we, we, because you know, we changed his number. Oh. <laughs> we exchanged numbers, and he goes, I promise you, I'm going to be on it. I texted him right before they did their show, and yeah. here he is, like, bang oh. for it. Oh there my gosh, you go. that was so it awesome. You, you, you manifested, and he was Does on this, your show. Does this mean I've hit the big time? I think so. <laughs> no, no, like Charles Barkley and greeted me. <laughs> <laughs> You keep manifesting oh out there. Oh my God, what I can't believe that. What else would you like, that. madame? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think right now. I do want to ask you guys, since we're in uh, this moment right now, yeah. your favorite holiday memories. Oh, uh, so I grew up in Florida. Yeah. Uh, rarely gets cold, so yeah. we had a convertible, <laughs> oh, right? Nice. It did get cold, and I wanted a live Christmas tree. Oh. And so it's maybe like 30 degrees, and so <laughs> my mom and I go get a live Christmas tree. We put the convertible down <laughs> so the tree can stick out and then blast the heat. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We were the crazy Floridians. Well, I mean, that's it. <laughs> no comment on uh, that. It's okay. I know Florida's no crazy. Right. But that's cool. I mean, how yeah. can you ever forget that? What about you, Ian? Uh, Hanukkah, and it's just waking up in the morning, uh, making latkes, my mom making latkes, yeah. and the smell of the latkes filling the house. Yes. It's a very tedious process, so you only do it for one night. Yeah. No one is doing that eight nights in a row. So what was yours then? Uh, you know, I'm from Atlanta, so there's just, I mean, I can't even pick one, you know, but most of mine as of late have been with my kids, yeah. you know, but this year, because I don't get a lot of surprises, I give a lot of surprises, this is on the list. Yeah. She's way yeah. up there. I can't even believe what I just saw. I'm still kind of like not here because I'm like, wait, okay. did, I, did I just dream that? Yeah. I'm going to need you to get back into your body okay? because there's still more surprises yeah, out there done. for okay. you. The tree is full. Okay. Settle it in. You got gifts to open. You ready? Let me, let me settle All right. it. Yes. Go. Oh, boy. Hey, Yetta, and hello, Arizona. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support you've shown me over the years. I adore you all. Thank you so much. One of my fondest memories in Arizona was riding in the back of a convertible with my family singing Christmas carols. It was the best. Show some love to each other, be kind to each other, take care of one another. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Oh, I oh. love you. <laughs> and you know we've got big history. You do know that. You're new yeah. to town. Oh, yeah. Yes, but I have been told yes. about this history. Yes, yes. And one of the big, you know, she was on American Idol. So I covered her entire run. I got to know her family. They're still yeah. my friends to this day. And one of the biggest gifts she gave me, and she probably doesn't even consider this big, <laughs> her first album. Oh, my God. I'm in it. <gasps> what? She thanked me in her first Stop album. Stop it. Oh my so gosh. I love Jordan. I haven't met the baby yet. But she's a married woman, which is very kind of mind boggling to me. Because you kind of see her. She was grow 17 up, years old yeah. when I covered her. Yeah. So, Jordan, thank you so much. We're not done celebrating the holidays yet. Minutes away, Cheryl Underwood's hilarious childhood memory. Two celebrity chefs join us. Hey, Yetta. And Deborah Norville's meaningful message and advice for all of us. Plus, hot holiday homes. You look like you've gone all out for Christmas. Every house has its own unique secret sauce. The award-winning mastermind who transforms houses 
into festive masterpieces. Also, you know his restaurants. I haven't tasted any failures. Now, Sam Fox. Welcome to the Globe Ambassador. Is adding a ritzy new resort to his portfolio. This is a legacy project for me. The Arizona business mogul shows off the stunning sights. 360 I mean, everywhere you look, there's a view. Special wow. suites and reveals one thing in his life he never accomplished. Yeah, my kids like to give me grief about that when I'm on them about their grades. <laughs> Hey Yetta, tis the season to be giving, but many of us really get stressed out at the prospect. A study just found that 81% of people say they plan to give a gift this year, and more than half of them, 56%, are stressed out about it. They're worried about being able to afford the present. They're worried about getting the right thing. So if that's you, here's my suggestion. Write the people you love a letter. Tell them why having them in your life brings you joy, and let them know how grateful you are for them. It is not a corny thing to do, but a beautiful expression. And it's a recognition of what really matters in life. And that's the people in our lives. And here's what's really cool. They're gonna love getting that letter. It's not gonna break your budget, but you will benefit. A study done at the University of Michigan found that when people write an overdue letter of appreciation, the letter writer experiences a positive lift, an increase in their mood that can last as long as six months. So write that beautiful letter right now and you'll probably keep feeling good till Memorial Day. I love that. That's great advice, especially in the spirit of the season. All right, from celebrities we see every day to a big time business mogul, Sam Fox has been a staple in the hospitality industry for decades. He's behind many popular restaurants that we've all eaten at. And now he has a ritzy resort and Sam gave us an exclusive look behind the scenes. If you don't know his name, you certainly know his restaurants. He has created Wildflower, Culinary Dropout, True Food Kitchen. Most recently, he's partnered with Justin Timberlake to create the 1230 Club, a ritzy supper club in Nashville. And now, the Global Ambassador, a luxury hotel and the crown jewel of his incredible portfolio. This is a legacy project for me. Sam Fox's passion. It's a dream that I still live every single day. I'm just having a great time. The hospitality sensation is sharing how his career began. When you first decided you were gonna do this, what did you think you were gonna end up with? I didn't really think about it. You know, I really thought about I was gonna open up a restaurant and that led to two and that led to three. And then it just sort of, you know, 25 years later, here we are. The name of your first restaurant? It was Gilligan's Bar and Grill in Tucson, Arizona in 1992. That one bar grew to a restaurant empire of more than 50 restaurants across 16 states in Washington, D.C. He sold his restaurants to the Cheesecake Factory in 2019 in a deal worth more than $350 million. I always say that we're in the restaurant business, which is two words. The restaurant side of things always came natural to me. My family was in the restaurant business. What my parents weren't good at, they were not good at business. They worked really hard. They're not here with us today, unfortunately. I'd love for them to see this. I looked at their failures, and then I took that and applied that to myself, to how I can make myself a better business person. Sam has certainly learned from his mistakes. His latest success, the 1230 Club in Nashville with partner Justin Timberlake. It's a three-level supper club. There's a lot going on. We have a high-end steakhouse. Downstairs is a more casual honky-tonk. Now, all eyes are on the global ambassador at 44th Street and Camelback. What yeah. made you want to go into this space? Yeah, you know, the this evolution of sort of me as an entrepreneur. We did a restaurant deal in Vegas that did not work out well. So I told myself, if I'm ever going to do another restaurant inside the hotel, I'm going to own the hotel. What kind of experience do you want people to have here? Yeah, I want people to come in and just sort of like be blown away. I want them to feel like it's special and it's unique and it doesn't feel contrived. Everything here is open to the public. Yes, the whole but, building is open to the public. But you've got some exclusivity. Yeah, we have for, a member. Yeah, we have a private members club within the building. Yeah, and you've already got people buying those. And it's sold out at this sold moment out in time. Already. Yeah. This is great. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go upstairs. All right. It's a tour that transports you from Phoenix to Europe in the blink of an eye. A labor of love, 10 years in the making. I wanted to bring something a little more international here to Phoenix. We have five restaurants five in here. Restaurants. Yeah, they're all open to the public. Well, it looks grand. First stop, the pool. This is our indoor, outdoor 
bar restaurant yeah. called Pink Dolphin. Everyone wants a taco, guacamole, and a margarita. Sure do. So that's kind of our premise here. All Welcome right. to the Global Ambassador. Well, thank you. Wow. This is a vibe. Yes. This is a vibe. And yes. This is what you wanted. Exactly. It's a very so Parisian. we have, yeah, Parisian. Now, how much of this detail did you? Have part in because every even, single thing in like the, building. the floors, everything, I've even touched, even the. Bridge. I can tell you every single thing in this building. Our hotel is really built around culinary experiences. Mm -hmm. right? Do you have a favorite on this? Yeah, my, well, my favorite side is the truffle twice baked potato oh, with caviar. There you go. So that is amazing. From the man himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the kitchen to the courtyard to the guest rooms. Come on wow. in. Our goal with the room is feels like a Parisian apartment. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. Mike Carson artwork is a local artist who we love, is did all the art for the hotel. Look at the tub. Spot for you to sit there and put your shoes on. This is gorge. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There are the suites, and then there are the suites. So I also read there's a Devin Booker suite. Yes. There's a Larry Fitzgerald suite. Yes. And a Dirk Bentley suite. Yes. We wanted to partner up with some some Arizona icons. Yeah. It's not a cliche. You're not going to walk in and see Larry Fitzgerald's <laughs> jersey here, right? right? But he's like an amazing pen collector. And so you're going to come in. There's going to be a great writing desk. And one of his pens will be there. So Devin loves his dogs. He has the only dog suite here. What? So we have, yeah. So we have a suite for him and his dog. We have some of his great artwork. He's really into photography. Okay. And Dirks, well, Dirks is, you know, he's a songwriter, obviously, so we have a, a guitar thing. Dirks has got some longtime roots That's here cool. in the valley, and so cool. his room will reflect that as well. It's like you're staying in their house. Yeah. It's really soulful of who they are as individuals. From the guest rooms to the rooftop, that's going to be Arizona's largest when it opens in 2024. 360 views. 360 views. I mean, views. everywhere you look, there's a view. What are you expecting from this? Like, I expect this... a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should. It's going to be really, really busy. And so, once again, we're going to take our time, make sure everything's finished in here. As you find tune yeah, things. Yeah. What do you do for fun? I spend time with my kids. Yeah. So I have amazing two kids. One's in college. Yeah. My, I have a senior in high school. Yeah. Great wife, great family. Sam hopes he's a role model for his kids, but says they won't be dropping out of college like he did. Yeah, my kids like to give me grief about that when I'm on them about their grades. <laughs> They're like, Dad, you didn't finish college. And so... And what do you say? What's your comeback? I, you know, I say, well, that's not an option for you. Does this stress you out, all of this new responsibility? I mean, everything stresses me out, but in a good way. You have to have moments when you're like... Wait a minute. Do you? <laughs> I do. Okay. This is the biggest thing that I've ever done. And uh, it's really, really special. And so I'm very thankful and excited that, yeah, I get to pinch myself and yeah. say, this is amazing. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From a business mogul to big time stars, up next, two celebrity chefs join us. Hi, Yetta. And comedian Cheryl Underwood shares her hilarious childhood holiday memory. Plus, Hot Holiday Homes, a transformation master, is inspiring us by showing off his incredible winter wonderlands. Hi, Yetta. I just love this time of the year. It reminds me of the time when I was growing up. I was really, really little, came downstairs, and I saw Santa Claus, who looked exactly like my dad. Here's wishing you the most joyous and blessed holiday season, and we pray that all your wishes come true and that you know the greatest gift of all, love. Happy holidays, Yetta. Hey, Scott Conan here. My favorite holiday memories would have to be growing up uh, in New England with my entire family, my aunts and uncles, and my mother and father, and my grandfather sitting at the table with courses and courses of food coming out. Um, so much food. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cold outside and the warmth of the home and the love of the family, those are my greatest holiday memories. My favorite holiday memory was when I took a 25 pound bag of flour and with my hands sprinkled every windowsill in the house. That's when I knew I wanted to be a chef. <laughs> I love it. And I'm hungry now. <laughs> From celebrity chefs to celebrity homes, we're talking Larry Fitzgerald, Jerry Colangelo. One award-winning visionary in architectural design is now opening up his portfolio of homes that deserve to be decked out this holiday. Tis the season to be extravagant with award-winning design architect Mark Candelaria. We're unwrapping the magic that makes the holiday displays on homes he's designed truly sparkle. From traditional warmth to modern glam, these displays are as unique and opulent 
as the homes themselves. These custom-themed displays infuse the luxury homes Marks created with a personal touch that makes them truly unforgettable. Every house has its own unique secret sauce, just like every recipe has its own unique ingredient that really <laughs> makes it that recipe. But every single one is a little different. It's our job to figure out what's going to make this the recipe of recipes. Homeowners are looking to create memorable experiences for family and friends while celebrating the season. So tell me about holidays. I mean, we, you look like you've gone all out for Christmas. Tell me what you're going for with your decor. Just kind of festive, but not over the top. Comfortable for families to come over and have dinners mm -hmm. and the kids all to hang out. The holiday season is about transforming already memorable homes into festive masterpieces that seamlessly merge Mark's architectural brilliance with holiday cheer. I think people sometimes want to feel like they're living in a fantasy mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And so it's fun to take what it can be just an average house and just turn it into something that's just basically your own personal resort. Wow, Ian, your house looks really nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe the outhouse That's in the back. That's a summer home. I know, right? I summer in Phoenix. Ian, Vanessa, thank you so much for joining me on thank this show. And thank you for all the surprises, all the phone calls you mm -hmm. made for these things to happen. Now you got to be on every show. That's right. Not thank right. you. With snacks? <laughs> Happy holidays to you and yours. Connect with me on Instagram. You're going to find more behind the scenes stuff. My handle is down below. We hope you feel informed and inspired. Thank you so much for joining us for this Arizona's Family Original. We'll see you again real soon. I know. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Three. That ain't right. Two. I got something better. Hey, Klaus. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> nah, I'm definitely not like this in morning news. I'll be quiet. I'll just be chilling. Get it. Come on. Can I get you in your right. sitting position? You're kind of like one side, left side. Well, I'm waiting for you guys. <laughs> We're just casual now. She is not in work mode. You're not going to just sit here like this? Damn, man, you still eating? In the way? Uh, uh, in the way? No, no, Sorry. Hey, no, we're hungry. If JJ pulls up his sushi, hey. <laughs> Hey, you, you eat more. Say Happy New Year! <laughs> JJ, oh, he eat more than JB, man. They added in post, as they said. Oh. That's what they Is said. Ian one of the Kay. producers? Yetta, Charles here. <laughs>